Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. A lot of people say Mantle is a dead API, but with Battlefront coming out soon and supporting Mantle, we wanted to see how many CPU cores that API can actually utilize. To test this, we need a couple things. First, we need an AMD graphics card with GCN architecture, and we need something more than your typical Core i7 4 core 8 thread processors to really max out what we think we can get out of Mantle. So what I have here is my home-built personal server with two Xeon X5550 processors sporting four cores and eight threads apiece for a total of 16 threads. We have an 850 watt power supply and an SSD so we can run all this. The program we'll be using to test Mantle is the Star Swarm Stress Test. It lets you use Mantle and DirectX 11 so we can get a direct apples to apples comparison as to the CPU utilization of each API. We're gonna be using this monitor to run the stress test. We're gonna be using this monitor to watch and keep track of our CPU utilization through each benchmark. I'm choosing to use the RTS stress test because RTS games are typically extremely CPU intensive. So this will be a really good way of monitoring our CPU activity. We're gonna start with DirectX 11 and then we're gonna move on to Mantle. Okay, our DirectX 11 stress test is underway. As you can see, most of the load is going on to two different cores. It'll be our number one core, and I don't know why it's picking this core down here, but it is. You can see that most of our cores aren't under that much stress, showing us that DirectX 11 puts most of its load onto two individual cores. So we just finished up with our DirectX 11 benchmark, and as you could see, it really only utilized two full cores. We're gonna start up our Mantle benchmark, and we're gonna see how many cores we can use with it. Okay, we started our Mantle stress test, and as you can see, all of our cores are running at very consistent loads. Um, one or two of them are running at a higher load, but they're all going up and down at the same rate. Those ones that are running at higher loads are probably running a little bit higher because you have to run the operating system and our other programs that are monitoring the stress test. But this is a very good indicator that Mantle can use at least 16 threads. That's pretty amazing. And when you put them side by side, it becomes very apparent how much better Mantle can utilize your processor. Hopefully we'll be able to see this kind of optimization out of DirectX 12. As you can see, we're getting at least three to four times the frame rate that we were with DirectX 11. This isn't exactly what we were testing for, but to give you an idea of the CPU optimization that Mantle provides, our score went up almost five times from six and a half frames per second to 32 frames per second. Mantle has proven to be a very impressive technology, and while I don't recommend you go out and buy an AMD graphics card exclusively because of its Mantle support, you may want to consider purchasing an AMD graphics card if you exclusively play games that support Mantle, such as Battlefront, Battlefield 4, or Civilization. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like us to cover in the future. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. You can tell that a lot, you can tell that the other cores are under a lot less stress, telling us that you can tell the other core, you can tell the other cores are under a lot less stress, telling us that direct